So I've made good progress with the Crystal Sync project on this old camera, the Krasnogorsk one. And basically I've just mounted the motor to the side by drilling and tapping M4 holes on in, in the side of it. Uh, I did have to do some gouging and stuff in here um, and grinding away material uh, so so I could get um, a nut and a bolt through there because I couldn't um, I wasn't able to actually thread and tap that one uh, because it was just quite uh, awkward to do because I didn't have a pillar drill if I had a pillar drill I might have been able to tap it properly so that one wasn't very good um, this mechanism is actually a gearbox here um, and it's got another plate on the other side of it this whole thing just comes out but I had to drill a hole in that to allow the end of the bolt this bolt here to go all the way through it so uh, there's an end of a bolt which uh, sticks through that mechanism inside but it's not a problem at all so Stepper motors, they have they have actually got um, a sort of sticky out but on the front. Uh, I'm just trying to find one to show you. Um, can't seem to find one going spare just now, but the the have part of the front protrudes out. I had to grind all that off so the front of the stepper motor was perfectly flat. <coughs> and after doing that, uh, it turns out that shaft was exactly the right length to engage with. Uh, the mechanism inside the camera so uh, all I had to do was in the shaft is just cut a slot in the shaft to engage with that mechanism and then to stop the motor jumping about just with the thing being off centre a bit um, I just had to put a little bit of tin foil in there or aluminium foil just to get the motor at exactly the right angle so I'll show you it working uh, And as you can see, it's not exactly running at 25 frames per second. Uh, it seems to be out by one frame every seven seconds, so that's not entirely ideal, unfortunately. But at least the frame rate is pretty stable. Uh, as you can see, if it was if it was uh, spinning at the correct frame rate, uh, these little sort of like holes there which you see slowly turning around they would appear completely still if this camera is matching the 25 frames per second that the camera recording this um, is, is doing so it seems to work quite well uh, it's just a simple program that's on it just now but it just ramps up the speed just as soon as the thing starts up but what I need is uh, basically I want a system where uh, I can just press a button and then it'll and while that button is pressed it'll just ramp up to full speed um, and as you saw it just did it in under a second and then when that button is released it'll just stop but I'm going to need some sort of system whereby I can sense the position of this mirror here uh, so that when I release that button the mirror always stops in the mirror up position so that I can see through the viewfinder alternatively I could just try and put an inching knob on the back of this motor there is a rather convenient hole in the back of it already so there may be a way I can just uh, drill and tap a hole in there and then just put some sort of I don't know knob on the back of it and then I'll be able to turn it manually uh, but the stepper motor controller I'm using is just an A4988 um, fairly common very cheap uh, runs at an absolute maximum of 35 volts, but um, I'm I'm going to be running mine on about uh, 32 volts. Unfortunately, uh, it needs quite a high voltage uh, for the motor to work at this speed. Um, and then what I'll do is I'm going to remove the pins off the bottom of this, and then basically just thermally glue it to the inside of the camera, maybe in here somewhere. Uh, and then it'll get excellent heat sinking. And then basically I'll just solder the wires onto it, so uh, that should work quite well. 
and I'll need an Arduino Pro Mini and it'll probably just set up the back in here and it'll be wired up like that I did want a feature where I could have an LCD screen on the side of this somewhere counting the feet and frames uh, but that's going to be quite a difficult one to implement uh, because my programming skills aren't fantastic uh, because if you're, if you're messing about with LCDs and stuff uh, you want to be not using the Arduino delay function uh, it's not it's not good practice so I'm basically going to have to teach myself a lot of programming to get this project actually completed <laughs> 